Welcome to the Creative Hudson. In this tutorial, we will turn a photo into a painting in Affinity Photo. As you can see, this can be used to turn any type of image into a painting. To create this effect, the Add Noise and the Denoise filters are the main filters you'll need to use. First, go to the File menu and select Open. Then, select the image of the Morocco City. In Affinity Photo, there are two ways to add filters to an image. You can add filters in a destructive form or a non-destructive form. The filters menu located at the top are in destructive form, which means that once you apply the filters here to an image, you wouldn't be able to undo its effects. So you would need to make a duplicate of the image first before using these filters. In contrast, the live filters located in the layers panel allow you to non-destructively apply filters and you can make changes to these filters or delete them. We're going to use the destructive form on this image. Press Ctrl and J to duplicate the image and label the original image original and label the duplicated layer painting. Now select the painting layer, then go to the filters menu and select noise, add noise. Set the intensity to 50%, select Gaussian and check the monochromatic box. Hit apply. You can zoom in to see more of the noise on the picture. With the painting layer selected, go to the Tone Mapping Persona. With this persona, you can tone map images, which is a technique that allows you to map one set of colors to another set of colors to approximate the look of HDR, high dynamic range images. But we won't be doing that to create this paint effect. Go to the Tone Map section and set the tone compression to 0% and set the local contrast to 100%. By increasing the local contrast, the clarity of the image is increased. After that, hit Apply and you'll be back in the Photo Persona. Next, go to the Filters menu again. Select Noise, Denoise. This will get rid of the noise and make the image smooth. Set the Luminance, Luminance Detail, Luminance Contribution, Colors, and Colors Contribution to 100%. Then hit Apply. After that, go to the Layers panel. Click the Live Filters icon and select Unsharp Mask. Make sure the filter layer is inside the painting layer. This filter allows you to sharpen an image. Set the radius to 15 pixels and set the factor to 1. Then change the Blend Mode to Screen and lower the opacity to 50%. This part is optional. Select the painting layer. Go to the filters menu and select noise, denoise. Lower the luminance and the luminance detail to 30%. Then hit apply. Now go to the adjustments icon in the layers panel. Select the levels adjustment. Set the black level to 5% to slightly lower the brightness of the image. Select the Levels Adjustment layer and the Painting layer in the Layers panel. Make sure the original image is turned off. Next, right-click on the selected layers and click Merge Visible. Then, turn the Levels and the Painting layers off. This will place all the changes we made onto one pixel layer. Let's apply this effect to another image and add some texture to it. Go to File Open and select the image of the strawberries. Next, duplicate the image by pressing Ctrl and J. Rename the layers the same way we did the other image. Select the painting layer, then go to the Filters menu. Go to Noise, Add Noise. Set the intensity to 50%, select Gaussian, and check monochromatic. Now, with the paint layer selected, go to the Tone Mapping Persona. In the Tone Map area, set the Tone Compression to 0% and the Local Contrast to 100%. Then click Apply. Go to the Filters menu. Select Noise, Denoise. Set everything to 100% and hit Apply. After that, click the Live Filters icon and select Unsharp Mask. 
set the radius to 15 pixels, factor to 1.5, and the threshold to 10%. Then change the blend mode to soft light and lower the opacity to 50%. This part is optional, but now we're going to add some texture to this image. The texture will make the image look more like a vintage painting. Go to File, Place, and select the image of the cracked soil. Hold Shift and stretch the image so that it covers the document. In the Layers panel, set the blend mode of the textured image to Divide, and lower the opacity to 10%. Go to the Adjustments icon and select the Levels Adjustment. Set the white level to 95% to brighten the image slightly. Now select the Levels Adjustment layer, the Texture layer, and the Painting layer. Make sure the original image is off. Then right-click on the selection and select Merge Visible. And this is how to turn a photo into a painting in Affinity Photo. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell icon to turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload.